Hi Capital School families, this is Miss Michelle from Year 3 Juniper. I'm just showing you this video so that you know how to use the new Digital Campus app um, for phones, which is nice and easy all in one place. So the school code is CSB, it doesn't matter if it's in capitals or not. And then you will be given a unique username that you have attached to your child only so I'm just using the one that I've been given just now. When you log in, it will pop up with your child's information. If you have a sibling or more than one child in the school, you just swipe along and it pops up with all the information you need. When you click into the picture, it will bring you up with the information. So you can scroll down and the communication, that one there is if you want to talk to any of the teachers um, for your child, they are all in one place. You can just click on the name you need and it will pop up with a typing message for you to type in anything that you want. Dear so-and-so, please may you help me with this. I'm just pressing the back button to get to the home page. The emails are sent out by the school and again they're all here in one place. You can click into them and then you'll see they've got links attached. They are shown here. You can just click again onto the PDF using the back button. It gets me into the home screen. What's nice about the email sorry, is you can scroll back and check any that you need to um, that have been sent previously if you want to double check any information or if you missed it the first time. The news as well is the newsletter sent out by the school. Again you can scroll down and see them all if you want to go back and check and you just click on to it and then click the, the button where it says PDF. The circulars are very similar to the news and the emails. It just all comes up in one place. Um, anything sent by the school will pop up here. And again, you just have to watch out for that link um, that will pop up there. If you keep scrolling down, you've got your information that you want about your attendance. You can click into that and it will pop up if your child's been present, absent, or if it's been a holiday. Your financial summary will show you if you have got any fees still due. And then again, with your fees receipt, that one here, you can click on and go into any of the dates that you need if you want um, a copy of your receipt. The progress card is the learning sort of journey for your child. You'll be able to go through in all of the previous years as well. If you scroll down to the bottom, that will give you your most recent one. So this is term one, the one that's just been sent out at the end of this term here. You can also click here for the school website if you want to find out any inf extra information about the school, maybe about the admission structure or anything extra about the teachers. Um, you can see you've got it all here. And so you can click onto any one of those links and the last one in this one here is the school calendar. Obviously we're on holiday just now, but you can click on to any of the months and see if there's any goings on or happenings, special dates. And the last thing is you can check your notifications just in a quick, easy peasy way there, up at the top with that bell button. And if you would rather have a different sort of layout, you can change your theme. Um, let's say I choose this one, it will log me back into the home screen. I just click on my person and it's exactly the same, but it's just popped up in a different sort of format. So it's whichever one you prefer. And that's it. What's quite nice about this app is you can log out and do whatever you need to do. And then when you come back in, you don't need to log in again because it saves all your information, which is really handy. So I do hope this makes everything a lot easier for you and I hope you're having a lovely holidays.